This is my method for doing the level 914 in the April raid for fairly low and reasonable repair, instant base if you do it correctly. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. In this target, it does matter where you enter from. I like to enter from just about this angle I did right here in the northwest of the target or so. At the very start, you could spawn inside of these red rings, but I think that actually has been fixed, which is good for getting that done quite early on. You now spawn further out. In this target, you do need to go kill, just kill a few things, drive around, shoot at things, and that's pretty much all there is to it on the outside. Once you've gone through the outside, which I'm doing right here, looping around, it becomes quite a bit easier to go through the center of the target. If you have an alliance member or someone else doing the co-op target, because this is a co-op target, going around on the bottom of this target this way, it makes it a whole lot easier, but it's still possible to do it yourself, and you'll get the full million points every time you do it yourself if you kill everything. By the way, if you lose or retreat in this target, it will reset upon exiting the target, which I'm not sure if that's in the forms or not, but just be aware of that. I lost my fleet, my U01 kicks I built when I was doing this, and I was a bit disappointed to see the target had reset. In any case, I'm just still looping around the target here, just shooting at things, stay moving so the cannibalista turret doesn't do too much damage to you, and doesn't hit you at all if you are careful. I am also tanking, but it is because my ship with more evade, I also have a special armor on there, D5 EV, that gives it more combat speed. So it's, it's going out just slightly ahead, which means that ship is taking more of the fire, but it also has way more evade, which reduces my overall total damage. If this is not instant base repair, it's probably because that ship itself took a bit more damage. At this point, I've cleared the very outer rim of this target. We're going to go towards the center here a little bit more closely and shoot in out a few things. If you have a U0 fleet or you don't have as many X1 as I do, then you're going to suffer a little bit because your range is a lot shorter. It's very different driving a U0 fleet in terms of range and an X1 fleet in terms of range. Just be aware of that. Nothing too tricky here, just looping around. Make sure you go into these little alcoves here to grab all the buildings you can. That just does help out a little bit and will reduce your damage and make things easier when you go through the center of the target. Now you do unlock some far sights in this target, but they're really not that special, not that exciting. You can see that what they do shoot at really does not have that large of an effect. And they are shooting at mainly these red buildings that are somewhere around here. And I've killed them all at this point, but I don't really think that they were in a, in, a, in a place that was really needed to kill those things before going through. Continuing on, make sure to stop and kill the large red buildings that give you the rings before they actually do any damage to you. You should be able to just click on those and you'll stop way early and just run down the side as quickly as possible, grabbing whatever turrets you can along the way. At this point, if you're a co-op target, it will be over, but it's not, so we have to continue looping around the backside and shooting at everything here. It's a roughly symmetrical target, it may not be exact, but it's roughly um, roughly symmetrical, good enough that you can, you can approach this thing fairly easily. It's nothing too tricky. I mean, this is probably the easiest uh, X set or Y set or whatever you want to call it, the X set target, or the S one probably, that we've had in quite a while. Um, it is an X one. And... Regardless, it's one of the easiest hard targets we have, we've had in a while, especially with a fully upgraded fleet. And my only potential worry about this target at this point is that it does take you a long time to do, four or five minutes, which is roughly equivalent to the time it takes to hit two of the lower level targets, which have the same point payout. So it may not actually be worth it to you to go hit these targets unless you are spending a lot of time on map, searching for things, repairing or whatnot. Um, I'll probably hit a few of these things. I don't know if I'll do the full set bonus for all of these. Because this, in addition to the 1 million points, also does have a set bonus if you also do the 164 and the 166. Just be aware of that, and it's good to do along those ones if you want a harder, longer target instead of scrolling the map and clicking repair. Let's go ahead and check the battle report as well as the build. Looks like damage taken is roughly even ballistic and radioactive, although I do have more ballistic armor on my fleet, just be aware of that. And here's the numbers if you are interested. Repair looks like it is just going to be a little bit too high, uh, once I can actually get out of here. Okay, we got our set bonus completed, 1 million points just over, 
and repair is going to be looks like 11 minutes and 22 seconds i'm going to guess that ship number two here is just over five minutes in base repair it's slightly further out of head so i'm not going to call this call this instant base repair i'm going to call it 11 minutes repair on map which you know is just me telling you what that is damage taken you know fairly reasonable Target is a little bit long, but the build is shown here. Flagship is a countermeasure build. Ship number two or ship five, it doesn't matter where this one is located, is a an evade, slightly faster build. The other three are just a pure damage version. And of course, this is full X1, 11 minutes, 22 seconds repair. If you have any questions on this build, this target, other things in Battle Pirates, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you. Thank you to everyone shown on screen who supports the channel. And as always, this is Derby signing out, helping you be a better pirate.